The Competition and Markets Authority CMA is a non-ministerial government department in the United Kingdom, responsible for strengthening business competition and preventing and reducing anti-competitive activities. The CMA launched in shadow form on 1 October 2013 and began operating fully on 1 April 2014, when it assumed many of the functions of the previously existing Competition Commission and Office of Fair Trading, which were abolished. Formation On 15 March 2012 the UK Government's Department for Business, Innovation and Skills announced proposals for strengthening competition in the UK by merging the Office of Fair Trading and the Competition Commission to create a new Single Competition and Markets Authority the formation of the CMA was enacted in Part 3 of the Enterprise and Regulatory Reform Act 2013, which received royal assent on 25 April 2013. In July 2012, Lord Curry was appointed Chairman Designate of the CMA and in January 2013 Alex Chisholm was appointed Chief Executive Designate. The term designate was dropped when the CMA was launched on the 1st of October 2013. On the 15th of July 2013, BIS announced the first stage of an open public consultation period and published a summary setting out the background to the consultation and inviting views on the draft guidance for the CMA. The first stage of the consultation ended on 6 September 2013. On 17 September, BIS announced the second stage of the consultation, which closed on 7 November 2013. During 2013 and 2014, the CMA announced several waves of appointments at director level, reporting to members of the senior executive team. On 28 March 2014, the CMA published the Rules of Procedure for CMA Merger, Market and Special reference groups following a consultation which ran from the 21st of February to the 18th of March on the 26th of July 2017 Andrea Koscielny was appointed chief executive officer of the competition and markets authority on the 20th of June 2018 Andrew Tyree took up his role as the new chair of the CMA taking over from Lord Curry Topic: Responsibilities. In situations where competition could be unfair or consumer choice may be affected, the CMA is responsible for investigating mergers, conducting market studies, investigating possible breaches of prohibitions against anti-competitive agreements under the Competition Act 1998 bringing criminal proceedings against individuals who commit cartels offences enforcing consumer protection legislation, particularly the unfair terms in consumer contract directive and regulations Encouraging regulators to use their competition powers Considering regulatory references and appeals Strategic goals The CMA currently lists five strategic goals Delivering effective enforcement, to deter wrongdoing, protect consumers and educate businesses Extending competition frontiers, by using the market's regime to improve the way competition works, in particular within the regulated sectors 
refocusing consumer protection, working with its partners to promote compliance and understanding of the law, and empowering consumers to make informed choices achieving professional excellence, by managing every case efficiently, transparently and fairly, and ensuring all legal, economic and financial analysis is conducted to the highest international standards developing integrated performance, through ensuring that all staff are brought together from different professional backgrounds to form effective multidisciplinary teams and provide a trusted competition advisor across government. <laughs> CMA Board and Senior Executive Team The Right Honourable Lord Andrew Tyree, Chair Dr. Andrea Koscielny, Chief Executive Dr. Michael Grenfell, Executive Director, Enforcement Andrea Gomez da Silva, Executive Director, Markets and Mergers Eric Wilson, Executive Director, Corporate Services William Kovacic, non-executive director Alan Giles, non-executive director Amelia Fletcher OBE, non-executive director Jonathan Scott, non-executive director Martin Coleman, non-executive director Kirsten Baker, panel member non-executive director Dr. Mike Walker, Chief Economic Advisor attends meetings and provides advice to the board Sarah Cardell, General Counsel attends meetings and provides advice to the board Controversy The UK Competition Commission ruled several times against my Ferrylink, so it could no longer operate from Dover despite the French Competition Authority authorising cross-channel activity. The French government blamed the decision to ban one out of three ferry operators on fair trade concerns. The appeals court overturned these rulings because my Ferrylink was not a merger of the bankrupt Seafrance and Eurotunnel. My Ferrylink called attention to a potential conflict of interest, pointing out that the former accountant of DFDS, the competitor and plaintiff, was now a member of the UK Competition Commission. Following these delays, Eurotunnel owner of the boats rented to my Ferrylink sold two new boats to the DFDS competitor. Because of this the port of Calais was blocked by workers, boats were occupied and the Channel Tunnel attacked, resulting in cross-channel disruption and traffic jams in the UK and France. Healthcare During an inquiry into the private healthcare market the authority made the Private Healthcare Market Investigation Order 2014. This requires healthcare providers, including NHS trusts to submit information to the Private Healthcare Information Network, this will include information about infection rates, rates of adverse incidents, and the relative health improvement brought about by treatments. This will be broken down by consultant in 2018 and in 2019 will extend to charges. See also English contract law EU competition law Notes External links Official website
Enterprise and Regulatory Reform Act 2013 UK Government CMA Structure PDF UK Government CMA Cases UK Government <laughs>